Hi guys, it's Annie Carazano with exercise, Live Exercise and Body Elastics. This is my second show. I'm here with Heather and my daughter, Evie's, and we're getting ready to give you an awesome workout. Uh, <laughs> Pilates with the bands. <laughs> Sorry, we're just, you know, laughing at each other. Um, but I'd like Evie's to introduce herself to you today. Give you a little background on her. My name's Evie's. I'm going to talk into the microphone. To the mic. Um, okay, my name's Evie's. What do you want me to introduce? And then she's my daughter. <laughs> and Heather does our toning. Um, Woo! <laughs> we just got done sweating. We just got done sweating at our cardiovascular. Um, now we're going to do Pilates. Look, yes. So um, red band, yellow band, and green band, two handles and two ankle straps, and your mats. Make sure you have mats. Also, no shoes needed for this workout, although we're going to flow and we're going to make it continuous, but you still don't need any shoes. We're going to place our anchor midway on your door from your uh, doorknob to the bottom floor, just somewhere midway. So I'm going to open and bring it up. And make sure you have it somewhere in the middle. We're going to try to keep it there the whole time through. Lock the door. Make sure it's safe. Grab your green band and let's double loop to start with our 100. Those of you at home that have never done Pilates, I'm going to start you off without the band just for a couple of reps so you just get the flow and then grab onto the bands just so you have your form down. Starting with the handles. Excellent. We're going to sit facing the door. Handles by your side and let them rest for a second. Slow roll down. Then we're going to tabletop the legs, feet together, knees together, and arms by your side. Head is going to come up if you have it available. If you wish, you can actually leave it down. Arms by your side. Nice and long. We're going to pump the arms. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. So this is your proper form. Now from here, we're going to actually grab onto the handle. So roll up. Use the abdominals to lift. And then roll down handles in your hands. Head is resting to start. Lift the legs back up into tabletop. Head comes up if you have it. If not, leave it down. The arms come up also. Let's pump the arms. Inhale. And then slowly exhale. Let's pump the arms. Inhale. And exhale. The 100 is a breathing exercise. It's mostly or commonly used to actually warm up the body in any Pilates uh, workout. We're going to inhale again. And exhale and inhale and exhale. Now, the 100 name came from pumping, inhaling five counts, and then exhaling five counts for about maybe 10 times or so. So hold it here, now pause the arms. Bring the legs down slowly and rest your head. You're gonna inhale again, exhale, we're gonna do a different variation of the 100. Legs straight up to 90, flex the feet. Arms come up, an inch or two, and then pump again, inhale and exhale. Now at home, continue to move. If it bothers you at any point, I want you to come back to that tabletop. And if you need to give yourself a little more challenge, I want you to see Heather. She's gonna lower her legs to 45. She's gonna still pump and her fingers are gonna reach long towards your door. So your soft grip with your hands, not too tight. Just pump, inhale, and exhale. Now she's in first position. Find your first position in Pilates where heels together, toes apart. If this is uncomfortable, you can always go to parallel and flex and continue to pump. Inhale, nice job. Exhale. We gotta do five more breaths, deep in through your nose, slow out through your mouth. Four more breaths. Inhale and exhale. Three more, continue to pump. Now, your breath is really deep, fill the lungs, and then slowly empty the lungs. Good, we're gonna do two more. Inhale and exhale. Last breath, inhale and exhale. Now hold it there, bring it up just a little higher, curl up and then release rest. Nice job, excellent. Place the handles down from your 100. We're gonna go into our roll up, half roll up first. We're not gonna use the bands in the very first four. The arms are gonna come by your side, hands grab onto the under part of your thighs. We roll up halfway, and then we roll down. Inhale, exhale, roll up halfway, and then roll down. Two more, inhale, exhale, and then back. 
Inhale, feet, uh, fill the lungs and prepare, then exhale, lift and hold. And last one. Now, grab your handles, and let's do that with the handles and the bands. Arms by your side, head comes up first, look towards your navel, roll up and hold. Then slowly come down. Inhale, exhale, come up, and then back down two more. Deep breath in, slow exhale. One more. Inhale, exhale, and hold it here for me. Now moving on, we're going to progress. If it bothers your neck, you can leave your head down. Just lift the arms a little bit. Always remember, right leg goes up and straight up to the sky. Single leg is going to come down towards your left knee and then lift. Lower and lift. Lower and lift. Lower and lift. Four more. Inhale, exhale. Three more. Two more. Last one. Hold it and stay here. Now flex your foot. Turn out slightly and bring your head down rest. Arms by your side. We're going to do that again. Bring it up. Head. Arms are lifted. Palms are facing down. Lower the leg and lift. Lower the leg and lift. We got six more. Five. Inhale. Exhale. Four. Three. Two. Last one and hold. Now bend the knee. Rest your head. And everything comes down. Getting ready to go to the other side, same thing. Head comes up first. Inhale, prepare. Exhale, just point your toes. The first one, point the toes. We're going to go down eight, seven, six. I'm still feeling Friday's class. Four more, three more, two more, and last one. Bring it up slow. Flex your foot. Rest your head. Turn out slightly. Then lift the head up again. Your second and last set, we're going down for eight. Inhale, exhale, seven, six. Keeping your tailbone down at all times. Good. Exhale on the lift. You got two more. Last one. And rest. Excellent. Place everything down and stay down for a second. Grab hold of your knees. We're going to go in for a little lower back stretch. Just pull the knees in towards your chest. Ah. Moving forward, we're going to go on to your full roll-up. I want you to focus on engaging all of the ab area. As you lift, try to keep your feet down on the floor. The arms are lifted. Fingers reach to the sky. Your head comes up first. Then you slowly start to peel up the spine. Come up and curl up with control. And then we roll down. We come down slow. Scoop in the abs. You're going to hear me say that a lot. When you're scooping in the abs, you're engaging through the center. You don't want to suck it in you want to just engage and scoop and then come down slow on this next one i'm going to show you how to modify if you need to you can grab onto the back of your thighs and help your way up and then you can actually roll down helping yourself then release on the next one we'll grab our handles inhale exhale peel and lift sit up nice and tall grab the handles scoop back just a little bit or if you want to shorten them, you can also grab onto the hardware area, not the actual handle. It all depends. The longer your rope, the more of your abs are you going to use. If you're weak in that area and you're trying to build the strength, you want to shorten. The shorter, the better it is. It helps you come down and it helps you come up. Okay? If you want it a little bit more difficult, your bands are going to be loose. So you're using your abs coming down. Good. And slow control. Now your head goes down and then slowly roll up. On the lift, be careful with the arms. They stay long, don't pull with the elbows. Again, inhale, exhale, roll down, and then release. Now I want you to come over to Heather a second. I'm gonna demonstrate a little variation. Slowly roll up. Good, we're gonna come halfway down on this one. Scoop in the abs, come way right to there, and stay right here. From here, we wanna challenge the abdominals by lifting the right leg up. Then the left leg up into a tabletop. Hold it there. Those of you at home that have done Pilates for a while and need to challenge the abdominal wall this way, this is what you do. You do this, then you bring the feet down, and then roll down all the way. Slowly roll up halfway. Bring your right leg up, then your left leg up. Hold it there for a couple of seconds, count to five. Then you bring your feet down, and then you slowly roll it up. And this is my payback for her because she just killed me a little while ago. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> How you doing, Avis? <laughs> yeah, and my payback for my daughter is that she has to work out. <laughs> mm. 
All right, slow control. We're going to do that again. This time we're going to roll up with control and then roll down halfway, everyone at home. The arms are going to open out to the side. Different variation. Right leg goes up straight. Again, you can always modify to bent knee if you need to. Straight out. We're going to flex your foot. And then we're going to roll down halfway, roll up halfway. Roll down halfway, roll up halfway. Inhale and exhale. We're going to do five more. Do you feel this? Yeah. You're feeling this? Short, yeah, you got to shorten the, the straps a little bit. Two more, then last one, hold it here. Come down a little lower, lift the leg up, palms pronate and they face down, stay right here. Lift the left knee up in a tabletop, and now open the arms to the side, and release, and release, and release. We're going to do two more, slow control. One more, your heel reach into the sky, and last one, now slowly bend your right knee, lengthen the left leg, flex the left foot, open the arms, and release. <sighs> Inhale, exhale. Good, four more, three more, last two, last one, and then rest. Bring everything down with control, and slowly roll it up. We're gonna go to the ankle straps now. Also remember to hydrate. Drink your water. Forgot my water today, but oh, I didn't get any ankle straps. One second. Still with the green band. If you're a beginner at home and you're not as strong with your back muscles and your ab muscles, you want to use the red for the, uh, the next movements. We're going to be doing single legs and double leg work facing away from your door, facing away, you got it? Okay, slowly come down to your back, make sure you double loop your band, make sure they're even, one foot at a time, we're going to take the right knee to the chest, place that ankle strap around your arch, secure it there, hold it. Bend the knee careful that you don't hurt your back. And then do the left side. Excellent. We're going to hold it there. You got it? Yeah, I got a knot in my shirt. <laughs> and then I'm going to go to sleep while Heather works. I'm just kidding. No sleeping. We're going to find our first position, heels together, toes apart. And we're going to do single legs, double legs, and frogs. Starting with single legs, I want you to bend the right knee to the chest and hold it here. Head comes up. We're going to softly pull on that leg. Don't pull too hard. And then we're going to switch to transition you. Exhale. And exhale. Good. Now go to parallel. Feet are in parallel. Nice. Pull in. Pull in. And exhale, every time you're pulling in, engaging the abdominals. We got eight, eight, seven, seven, six. How many more? Four, four, three, three. Nice socks, Evies. <laughs> Last one, hold it. Both knees into your chest. Rest the head and hold it here. I'm going to fully lengthen the legs, and we're going to go into a double leg stretch. It's a little different. I want to show you two variations. The double leg stretch, you can actually keep your head down if it's putting stress on your neck. So bend the knees, extend the legs, circle the legs around, and then lift them up. That's your beginner or basic. Otherwise, we come here, head is up. We're going to take the legs straight out to 45, circle the arms back, circle the legs around, Pull the knees in again. 45. Arms go back. Legs go around to 45. Pull in again. Let's do that again. Extend. Back. Circle around. Then to 45. Pull in. One more. Extend. Circle the arms and the legs. Pull it in. A little bit more advanced. Last one. Extend. Back. 
circle around and pull in. Rest your head, extend the left leg, right leg out and hold it here. Flex both your feet, head comes up and stay here. Little tiny crunches is eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, hold it. And now the hold is what you wanna focus on. Inhale, exhale, come up a little higher, don't move your legs, and then release, come in. Left leg goes out, right leg goes up, head lifts, and same thing again. Crunch, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, last one, hold it, stay here, nice and strong, a little higher, and then release, excellent. Both straps come off the feet. Remember to drink water. You must have it near. If you have it near, grab it. Quickly come back to your position. Now the hands are going to go on your ankle straps. We're going to go into a teaser one. Right leg is going to lift off the mat and place that leg close to your left knee. Arms are out to the side. So we're going to circle and scoop up and then come down. Circle and scoop up. That's all you're doing. And then come down. Again, scoop up. Nice. And then around. One more time. Hold it here. Hold it. A little higher. Reach a little longer. And then rest. Legs come down. Other side. Another variation for this one, and Heather, if it bothers your back, you can always do it with the leg down on the mat. So if you have any back injuries and lifting that leg puts extra pressure on your back, just keep that leg down on the mat or even bend it. Don't worry about lifting the leg up. So this is your variation. Scoop up and hold. Circle. Or you can lift your leg up. Knee level. Good. Four more. Circle around. Three more. Two more. One more. And hold it up. Curl up a little higher. And then release it. Nice job. Backstroke and swimming. Which is part of some mat series and some reformer series. We're going to tabletop, and the ropes or the, the bands are also going to be loose on this one. Don't worry about that. The work is going to come on the extension when you extend out, not when you bend. So you're going to bend in, extend both legs and arms, lower the legs to 45, circle the arms around, and reach up. <sighs> then you bend the knees in, and bend the arms, rest your head. Again, head up. Extend the arms and legs, lower the legs to 45, reach the arms forwards, circle around, and then lift again. We're going to add leg movement to that. Extend up, lower reach, circle both arms and legs, and then bring it up. Release. Again, extend up, then down to 45. Circle the arms and legs around. Now hold it here. This is where the work is. Legs in 45, palms towards your thighs. Lift your torso up a little higher, engaging through your upper abdominal wall. Really engage. Hold. Let's do five, four, three, two, and one. Release it. Rest. Nice job. Let the straps <laughs> fall to your side. Your back. Stretch it out. A lot of, yeah, be careful with the back. Pull in just a little bit. We're going to do a little side leg series. No bands for a second. So we're going to both, or all three of us, lay on our left side. We're going to align the body. If you at home have a mat, I want you to align your feet to the front corner of your mat. So you have, you're on a sort of a diagonal. You're going to rest on the elbow. If you're on your elbow, your side is completely lifted. Don't collapse. Posture. Square off your shoulders. You can also rest your head on your hand. This is a little bit more comfortable. Stack your hips one on top of the other. If the top hip starts to go back, you no longer are engaging through your center, so you're not using your abs. You want to make sure you engage through the middle, bend the knees in, lift the top leg, and then extend that leg out to the side. Once you're here, flex your foot. We're going to lead with the heel to the sky. We're going to go up and down as you inhale and exhale. Good. We're going to go for four. Inhale, exhale, three. Inhale, exhale, two. Last one, hold it midway. Always come back to hip height. Draw circles up and around. 
up and around, up and around, four, five, six, seven, eight and hold, now reverse, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, hold it, pull that knee in softly, and then switch it over to the other side. Again, we're gonna do those with the bands, but I need you to get that form first and warm up the area. So on the elbow, toes to the corner, or off the elbow, head on your hand. Pull the knees in, square off the hips, lift that top leg about hip height, extend the leg out, flex and hold, tiny little lifts, leading with the heel. Now exhale on the left, inhale down, exhale up. It's four, five, six, seven, eight and hold. We're gonna draw circles around, around. A few reminders, if your hip starts to move back and forth, make pretend you have a wall in front of your belly and behind your lower back, and your midsection is right between those two walls, and you're engaging your abs so that your, that wall doesn't squish your organs. Reverse your circle, go the other way. So you wanna focus on that control. Last four, last three, last two, and last one. Slowly pull it in and release. Nice. Now let's try that with the bands. Working with a green. I'm gonna place the ankle straps around the ankles. If it happens to bother you in your skin, you may wanna put some socks. It may not. We're gonna head towards the door. Same position we were before. Start on that side. Actually, the bottom one should be on your heel so it doesn't bother. I'm gonna lay down, bend the bottom knee in towards me. You know what, let's change that to the actual arch. I think it'll be yeah. better, yeah, to the arch, that's it. Careful with your face too. Now, from here, same thing we did before, we're gonna lift and lower. Now, you have to control the pull of the band. Don't just let it take you all the way up. You gotta really focus on control. So you're lifting up and releasing, working through the side of the leg. Feel all the engagement through here. Some of your glute is working as part of your powerhouse in this movement, so you wanna stay focused. Again, that belly and navel pull deep in towards your spine. How are we doing? Is your back okay? Yeah. We're gonna draw little circles now. Control, up and around, up and around, up and around, and emphasize on the lift, and around, on the lift, on the lift. Good, two more, one more and hold it, now reverse that circle. It's eight, seven, six, five, four, three. What's good for the goose is good for the geese. We gotta train both sides, back and front. <laughs> nice, I forgot my numbers, where am I? Five, three. I'm on 125. <laughs> hold it here, we're gonna pull now. We're gonna add to this, we didn't do these before. Careful, I want you to pull in, bend the knee, and from here, you press out, you press out. Now, engaging through the back of the thigh, I want you to use the glute muscle in the back of the thigh. Nice and easy, think with your muscles. Inhale, exhale, let's go for eight. If you wanna make this a little bit more challenging next time, we can go to a red. Last four, last three. I'm Cuban, I don't know how to count. I don't know how to speak sometimes. So I apologize if my accent sometimes <laughs> offends you. Two more, I think. Last one. Pull in slow. Stay right here. Stay right here. And then release. Careful with your face. Pull both knees in. Take the straps off. Let's turn over to the other side. So we determined these are going to go around the arches. Then we're going to lay on our side. I hope you at home are feeling this like I am. We're gonna slowly lift up and down with control. Eight repetitions, then we add the circles. 
Remember to keep everything nice and tight through the center. Um, your, uh, good question. You're breathing on this one. Always prepare with inhale. So you want to prepare with your breath. Inhale. As you execute movement, <sighs> exhale. That puts you in your breathing pattern. Now when you're coming down, you got to inhale again. So inhale, prepare. Exhale, lift. <sighs> then inhale, exhale. That continues your breath pattern. If you forget how to breathe, just inhale, exhale. Don't worry. Don't turn purple on us. <sighs> Last two. And I did say, to, say eight. This is 25, we gotta turn it. Circle. Good, nice little circles. Your circle begins at that hip joint. Good, last four, last three, last two, one and hold and reverse. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, last one, hold it. Now slowly pull in halfway from here Press out and out. Inhale, exhale. Good. It's eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job, guys. Let's take this off. We're going to do a prep for swan. We'll do it on the mat without the bands. We're going to use the yellow band, but... For the first ones, we're not going to use the van. Lay down with your belly down. Anyone at home with back injuries, your swan. You have to be careful. Just keep the prep if you have the injuries. If you have any injuries in your upper back, I want you to keep the arms below the shoulders. Hold it there. If not, arms overhead. Your head is down aligned with the spine. Your prep is left arm comes up, right leg goes up, and both your hips are down. And slowly lower. Now switch sides, lift the right, left leg, and then slowly lower. Keep going. Again, opposite, not too high. And then slowly lower. Hold both hips down. Just a slight lift, leg and hold. Nice. And again, two more on each side. And then the last one. And then come down slow. Now that's your, that's your prep. This is your swan now. Both arms come up. Chest is lifted, head aligned with the spine, the legs and thighs come up. Good. I want you to look at the neck area. Your head is an extension of your spine. Look up. If you're looking up, you're stressing here. I want you to lower, look down. Align the head with the spine so there's no wrinkles at the neck. That's what you want to think of. Long arms. Now here we're going to do what's called Pilates swimming. Alternating right and left, arms and legs, and we're going to swim it out. Inhale, exhale. Nice. Lengthen a little more. Continue to breathe. Deep breath in, slow exhale. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Rest, excellent. Now from here we go to our rest pose. Arms come in, hands under your shoulders, extend the arms, then take the glutes back to, towards your heels. And hold it here. Now we're gonna add the bands to that movement. Make it fun, sorry. These are Heather's favorites. <laughs> they are. They're good for your back. They're good to strengthen those muscles. <laughs> All right, two options. You can use handles, you can use straps. Either ones are fine. I'm gonna use the handles. The handles, whenever working the upper body, it gives me a little bit more stability in my wrist. So I like to use them. But if you don't need that extra stability, go ahead and, and, and just keep the ankle straps the whole time. Again, back issues, remember your arms don't come overhead. So what you have to do, scoot your way down so you create enough resistance and you need to double loop on this one. I didn't, but you need to double loop, I think. No back issues, start about shoulder level, extend both arms out. Let them touch the ground and rest here. Right arm comes up, an inch or two, then the left leg and hold it there. Then slowly release it. Left arm, right leg, and then slowly release. Maintaining the alignment of your spine with the head and then slowly lower. Good. Up and slowly lower. And now let's increase the intensity. 
Both arms go up, both legs go up, and hold it here. Swim it out. Inhale, exhale. We're gonna do five. We're gonna do four. We're gonna do three. Last two. And last one, rest. Place the palms down, make sure you're sturdy with that movement, don't let it go, and rest your head. Repeating that movement again, both arms come up, swan, legs go up, hold it here, take the arms out to the side, draw the letter T, palms go down, keep it here, and now slowly flutter kick behind you. It's eight, seven, six, five, stay strong, four more. Nice job, girls. Three. Two, excellent. You at home, I know you're doing wonderful. Keep it going. Now hold it here. Let's lift the legs a little higher and the chest a little higher. Can you go for eight more? Eight more? Let's go. Eight. Breathe. Seven. Come on. Six. Five. Stay strong, guys and girls. Let's do this. Three, two, one more. And rest. Beautiful. Let the handles and straps fall down. Hands under your shoulders. Let's go into our favorite, favorite pose, which is rest pose for a couple of seconds. <laughs> uh huh. And release. We got teasers. Let's go with the yellow. I'm going to actually double loop just to make sure that this is even for me. Okay. Let's do this. Slowly roll it down. Now on the teaser, same thing. The lighter the van, the harder the workout. So yellow, green, or red, you choose. We're going to start. Huh? What happened? Tell me now. <laughs> I know. I, t I cued her too late. She was going to go with red on this one. We're gonna start from here, bend the right knee. Arms lift, you're gonna circle around like we did before in our roll up, but this time we're gonna lift the torso completely up. Oh, that's hard. Nice job, Evies. <laughs> now slowly C curve come down with control. Don't let the, the bands pull you back. Now this is what I'm gonna do to modify because it is a little advanced. I'm gonna grab onto the sides, right at the hardware, and I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna come up and reach. So if you shorten, circle the arms around, and then roll up into your teaser. It's hard. <laughs> There's 39 muscles used in one single teaser. It's a very advanced movement of Pilates, and this is just a modification of it. We're gonna come down slow and controlled. Yeah. Now we're gonna do the other side. Right leg out. Inhale, exhale, scoop it up. Hold it here for four. I know, three. It is harder with the bands. Did you hear that? Huh? This side's easier. I know. You'll find that also. You'll notice, you at home also, you'll notice one side easier than the other. Remember, Pilates. It's gonna help you somewhat balance everything that we do. So we're gonna create balance. <sighs> yeah. Let's do one more, and then we go into our full teaser. <sighs> and if it's something you're not really able to do, don't worry. Comes with time, but you gotta continue to do every single exercise of the series to strengthen your body to get there. Now, both legs down. This is where I think I'm gonna change to the handles. Uh, I'm sorry, those straps. You at home, if you need to, go ahead. Because we're going to repeat the movement five times. And then we'll add. Inhale, exhale, lift. And slowly come down. Again, inhale, exhale, lift. And then slowly come down. Take your time. That was number two. We're gonna go three. Nice. Down slow. 
number four. And release. Did I say five? Five. I think I lied. We're going to do eight. Come down slow. <laughs> Three more. Inhale, exhale, six. If you haven't noticed, all of my counting is mostly eights and sixteens, but eight is not my favorite number. My favorite number is nine. Lucky nine. In the Chinese tradition, nine is the lucky number. And then slowly down. Was that seven? Yes. Good. Let's go for eight. Now we're going to do eight. We're going to make it fun now. We're going to hold it here. Now I want you to scissor the legs. Ha. And if you have back issues, I want you to bend the knees. Uh-huh. Pull in and out. Evies. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> we got eight more. How are we doing? Oh, breathe it out. Come on. Four, three, two. Hold it. Slowly lower the legs to the mat. Sit up nice and tall. Open the legs to the width of the mat. <sighs> nice job. Reach it forward. And then slowly come back here. I'm going to baptize this movement and I'm going to call it spine stretch. So you're not rounded. Your erectors are nice and long. We're going to reach forward with a long back. And then back, stack your vertebras one by one. Again, inhale, exhale, reach. And release. Almost there. Inhale, exhale. And release one more time. Inhale, exhale, reach. Nice job, girls. Hold it there now a little longer, 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 longer. And then release. Take the arms out to the side. Keep that tension. Don't let it go back. Hold it here. The saw. Deep breath in. Slow exhale. Saw, similar to your spine stretch, but we're going to twist just a little bit. We're going to bend the left in, reach a little longer, and then try to cut off your little toe uh, with your pinky. And then pull it back, extend, and hold. Twist, pull in, and then reach. Then bring it back. Simple spinal rotation which works your obliques, by the way. It's the only really true way to exercise and work your waist muscles. It's rotation of your spine. So you want to twist, keep your sit bones down, and reach, and then release. Again, twist, pull, reach, and then release. Bring it all the way back. Nice job. Wow, I think we're done, right? We're going we're gonna to end up with a stretch. I want you to roll down with control. We're going to use the bands to stretch. Place ankle straps around the arches. Bend the knees in towards your chest. Extend the right leg out to the side. Hold it there. And then slowly pull it in. Extend it out to the side and hold it there. And slowly pull it in. Now we're going to go into a tree series. Place your left foot down, right leg up. Grab behind your thigh. Pull in towards you, bring it here, and then resist with the band. And then pull it in, hold. Resist with the band. Pull it in, hold. Bend the knee, grab hold of your heel. Left hand out to the side, extend that leg out, hold it for four. Exhale, three, two, one, pull in. Down to the mat, left leg down. Then grab behind your thigh, walk up towards your calf, and pull in towards your chest. And release it. Again. Release it. Last one. And release. Bend it in. Grab hold of your heel. Extend out to the side. Only go as far as you can. And a lot of us are flexible to extend the leg all the way. So you, you could keep it bent and just open out a little bit or just take it to wherever you can. Nice job, guys. Pull it in. Both bands and straps off. Grab both of your knees, arms parallel to the ground. Place both palms on the floor. Slowly turn to the right and look over your left shoulder. This is a good feel stretch. Oh. You guys did wonderful at home. Slowly release it. Bring it back to the center. And then go over to the other side, always looking opposite away from the knees. 
This should uh, feel good on you, Heather. Yeah, this is just like that. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay. Then release it back to the center. Slowly roll up. Ah, and let's get up. Slow control. Once you're on your feet, place both palms on the floor. Extend the legs if you can and extend the legs out and up. Hold it there. Release your head. Lift your hands and arms. Everything hang. Slowly roll it up. As you roll up, you're articulating the spine bone by bone. Shoulders, head last. And you're done. Come on here, girls. Ah, that was wonderful. Thank you so much for having me uh, in your homes again today. Show number two, July 19th. Thank you, Evie's and Heather, for being part of my show. I love you guys. Don't oh, forget. Oh, Annie. <laughs> That's it's my birthday. It's my birthday. Lattie's body elastic. <laughs> um, and again, thank you for being with uh, liveexercise.com and Body Elastics. Love ya. Bye.